education channel to watch more videos on Linux operating system. I have gone a one video long back ago which was end user operating system and that I explain why the Linux operating system is very good and you might be knowing that a lot of the server on the internet are of Linux or of Linux Unix server many of the servers on the internet are of Linux and Unix server so my today's video is nothing but about layer 7 load balancer in Linux so let us start in detail layer 7 load balancer Linux introduction Linux has proven itself a rock solid operating system platform for industry leading software appliances and applications one of which is for load balancing and global internet traffic increase it demands an increasing throughput from existing infrastructure increasing throughput in the sense today I am accessing I am able to access the my web page within fraction of second tomorrow tomorrow also should I should access the web page within fraction of second it is crucial to deliver content fast this is especially true for businesses whose only interface with client is is their web portals means so admission system of college admission system of engineering college medical college which is online and this part and uh, fees are also paid online in their web portals load balancers add great value in this case and also provide multiple other functionalities Neural load balancer managing a web services infrastructure web administration often find it challenge to availability of the servers the situation get even tougher when new web application for functionality is released means today uh, there is only a part of uh, filling the form uh, for the registration then tomorrow filling the form of admission the next form filling the form of same fees so functionalities are added optimization of server performance is just a continued job consider a web server hosting a site running a few applications when a site gain more users there is many more page request serving each reuse re-request a definite amount of CPU memory and network resources adding powerful resources can only solve the problem to some extent only while introducing another challenge when the web server hits the ceiling in terms of resource limit in the sense the meaning is that the resource server handle authenticated request after the application has obtained an access token it starts dropping web request which result in a bad user experience a broken or hanging web page means today our student are doing only registration after 15 days student want to take admission so they will authenticate with username and password in that case the website should work as good as uh, how it was working for registration if the web server goes down certainly result is loss of reputation and in case momentary loss for organization to preempt such situation IT management must deploy load balancing solution in the data center infrastructure data center infrastructure in the sense store and share with lot of data is stored and access next a new trend of balancing product is typically in the form of application of a application running a Linux distribution some enterprise grade application sophisticated software solution designed to meet the complex need of large application Linux flavors is the load balancer can balance traffic by distributing it among two or more servers so load, ba load balancer how load balancer work is silo silo in the sense we are using uh, high quality devices in the network for optimum optimum performance of the network that's why that is the concept of silo we are using high quality that is uh, gigabyte internet we are using cloud 
we used in uh, grid computing so these are the silo silo in the sense high quality devices uh, silo holds relation database that store customer address if internal security policies prevent this information from being shared with the organization's marketing team a different set of application where all servers in the given silo host identical application <coughs> the device is configured with two separate ip ranges one one is used for handle <coughs> one is used for handle incoming traffic and other called virtual servers is used to connect node under the control next how load balancer work this is form of agent service between the requesting client and the responding server it acts on the request intelligently based on configured rules rules define how a request should be handled and how to handle special condition such as node preferences session management etc session management which is required for stateful communication and if this is http if http is a stateless protocol then there is no there, there is no need of stateful but since users are storing their information of college information their marks um, so that's why user and password is necessary that's why stateful protocol special condition such as node preference session management the load balancing device then make a separate tcp connection with a receptant tcp connection with receptant web server and redirect the request to it while it keep track of request processing in the misconception inaccurate idea uh, that means Something misunderstanding is there that the load balancer check resource utilization such as CPU and memory, but on the control server, it in reality it simply check the network response time of the server, which is the result of server overall resource utilization. Since it acts as a catalyst in improving the scalability of the server, scalability of the server in the sense today there are two server, tomorrow there will be three server. tomorrow day after tomorrow there four server or four server balancing the uh, 100% utilization of the server five server 100% relay utilization of the memory ram of the server scalability of server farm it maintains data for each node under the control time of each host for request in early days load balancing solution were implemented around simple round robin technique time sharing operating system that is nothing but the round robin algorithm particular time that process is allocated after particular time another process is allocated that is about the operating system part round robin technique which did help distribute load but did not provide fault tolerance fault tolerance in the sense i want if today i got the response within millisecond tomorrow also i should get the response in millisecond with no interruption with no interruption that is nothing but the fault tolerant feature of the lack of necessary intelligence in the misconception in accurate idea the load balancer check resource utilization such as cpu memory on control side it is simple check the network response time okay so using load balancer to achieve fault tolerant server often experience downtime due to unforeseen resource failure risk to manage a resource or maintain these resource failure may be hardware or software application level such thing should be transparent to the user the user should not be aware that the server is down data is not available uh, the, the, the hard disk has crashed the, the user should not be aware user user should be transparent with the server such thing should be transferred to a configurable hard disk called balancer is maintained with each node this can be simple icmp ping that means device is connected to the network or not the node balancer become aware of node is live and mark is a active participant eligible for balancing process if server or application resource fail the balancer wait for certain time or time for hard bit and from the node and remove it from the silo just i told you silo means the devices that very costly 
and high quality devices are kept in the network. So, using load balancer, what thing you can achieve? A service instance can be configured for example, separate web page instance running under separate IP address with a dummy page. With a dummy page in the sense, if the, if the load is low, then the page is loaded and if the uh, load if the load is down then dummy page is not loaded additional feature is a load balancer application hand checking protocol that is a tcp in a networking osi model there is a hand checking protocol that is all about uh, tcp protocol means uh, request response the client the client requests something to the server server response and then uh, after the acknowledgement the communication start TCP buffering enable video, audio and gaming files to begin playing before all the content is loaded. Secure socket layer. Every website, every page will be accepted with user and password. <coughs> HTTP caching. Caching is the storage and reuse of frequently accessed resources on web page. Image graphics. Uh, configuring layer 7 rules on the load balancer is an art and need deep understanding of networking protocols and server operation. That means it is a technique, load balancer is a technique, need, need a deep understanding of networking protocols and server operation. So I have successfully done with load, layer 7 load balancer in Linux. If you like this video, please share me in comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.